Democritus says the only things that exist in reality are atoms and the void. Atoms are these tiny particles that are indivisible and they travel through a field called the void. The particles, the atoms are the full reality. They are the prime reality and they are responsible for all action, all movement, all thought that exists in the world. For Aristotle, even though tiny particles might be a reality, they are not the things that are known first. For Aristotle, things that we know the most are primary substances. Primary substances are the things that are around you. A coffee cup, a book, your car, another person. It is through primary substances that we even know the atoms. Atoms would make absolutely no sense if they are just taken on their own apart from the exterior reality. When somebody examines atoms, they must first know that they're looking at a dog. They must first know that they're looking at a plant. Atoms require reliance on some sort of secondary source and oftentimes many secondary sources. Knowledge of the atoms requires relying on a microscope, which is a secondary source. Knowledge of the atoms requires relying on scientists, which are authorities and secondary sources. Knowledge of the dog doesn't require any of that. You know a dog just by using your eyes and using your hands to touch the dog. You don't need a scientist to know a dog. So the atoms, they are known less to human beings and it is only through the primary substance, the thing that you see around you, the dog, the plant, the cat, that we even have any knowledge of atoms. So for Aristotle, even if there might be tiny particles, they are the things that are less known than the physical reality around you. It is similar to examining a cell. If a biologist is going to examine the cell, it helps to know where the cell came from. The biologist needs to know what primary substance the cell came from. Another problem that Aristotle has with the theory of atoms is that Democritus says that they are indivisible. And Aristotle points out that no physical thing is indivisible. It is in the nature of physical things to be divided. That doesn't mean that you can actually divide it, but in theory, a physical thing can always be divided. That is the nature of a physical thing. So a physical atom can potentially be divided. This is not what Democritus says. Democritus says that these physical atoms are indivisible.